YouTube, what's up? This is King the Barber back with another tutorial. So today's tutorial is gonna be on my favorite razors that I'm using in the shop. As a barber, it's important to know how to do a really great shave and also give great haircuts. But the shaves will definitely have your clients coming back to you. And I feel like you have to really invest in the right tools. Um, it changes everything. So I hope you like the video. Subscribe to my channel and also follow me on King Me Lifestyles on Instagram. All right, let's get to it. So the first razor that I'm gonna bring up will be a Japanese style blade. It's a no handle, uh, looks like this. And as you can tell, it has no handle, meaning it doesn't have the little flap like that. Now the reason why I love the no handle ones is because you're able to get in these corners here when you're doing a goatee or your mustache part here. And also if you're lining up the beard, it's so small, I love it. Um, again, you can move this thing around and get all those hard angles when you're using a razor. That's why I don't like the bar because sometimes the bar can kind of get in the way. It takes these blades right here, let me show you. Um, you just slap it there. Make sure I don't cut myself. Boom, that easy and you're ready to go. So yeah, I got this off of Amazon around about 30 bucks. I don't know this particular name of this razor. Check this one out. Uh, it's a really good razor to have. You wanna get it. The next razor that I'm bringing up is gonna be another no handle uh, razor. Okay, so this razor I got off of eBay. It was around about 30 bucks as well. It's uh, CJB, um, if you type in CJB, also no handle Japanese razor, one should pop up. It has the gray handle on this one as well. What I like about this one is because it's a cheaper version of the Artist Club. And I definitely love the Artist Clubs. But this right here does the same thing and it also uses the same blade. The Pro Guard. Now what I love about the ProGuard blades is that it has a guard on it. So you can still cut your clients, but it kind of gives you some leeway. Um, it's, it's, it's a very sharp blade. I mean, if you're really rough, again, you can't cut people, but it kind of saves you from not cutting people. So if you want to do those ball head shades really quick, that blade is perfect to have. They're around 14 to 15 bucks to get a pack of 15 of those blades. Uh, let me show you the way it works. Um, it looks like this. You see it has the little ridges on them. That's the guard part of it. And you just slide it in. Boom. And you're in there and you're good to go. Again, you can also get in those tight areas as well. Uh, this blade is good for shaving bald heads, even doing regular shaves as well. You can get the job done. The next razor that I'm going to bring up is going to be a Feather Artist Club razor. Now I got this one off of Amazon. It's around about 67 to 70 bucks for this particular razor. Definitely worth the investment. Uh, this right here kind of comes off. You can clean it. Slide it back. All right, slides back in. And also it takes the same blade, which is the Pro Guard blades. You just slide it in, that easy. And again, this is an artist club. Uh, these are the top of the line, the best to have. Definitely wanna invest your money into getting one of these. So the next razor that I'm gonna bring up is gonna be a Parker razor. Looks like this. I love having this razor because it's really light um, and also it takes the regular blades. You wanna open the flap like that. There you go. Grab one of these razors.
and you're in there. Good to go. Um, this one is around, I wanna say maybe 20 bucks for that razor. It's a really good razor to have. Definitely worth the investments. I feel like for these type of razors, the Parker is probably the best. So definitely invest in one of those. So the next razor that I'm gonna bring up is gonna be from the Artist Club again. This one has a handle though. Again, the Artist Club razors are, uh, I mean, they're amazing. I love these. Um, it's another flap there. You just kind of squeeze here to open the part here so you can drop in the razor. Uh, let me show you. Boom, and you're ready to go. Now, but with this particular razor, I don't really use the Pro Guard blades. I like to use the Feather Super. There it is. These are the blades I like using when I'm using this. I feel like when I'm doing more of a thicker uh, beard, you wanna use something a little bit more stronger. The Feather Pro Guard blades are really good, but um, those, those blades are a little bit more sharper. They don't have the little guards on it. Again, just drop it in there. Got to be careful though, you don't want to cut yourself. Boom, and you're good to go. So yeah, I do more of an aggressive shave with this one. It's a very aggressive blade to have. Next version that I'm going to bring up is going to be one of my OGs that I've been using since I've even gotten to barber school, um, just doing home cuts. Uh, my barber used to use this blade on me, and um, I'm pretty sure you've seen one of these. You can get this from like what uh sally's is probably where i got mine from and what's crazy is that this blade is so long right so you definitely can cover more areas i don't really use this as much anymore now that i'm using the feather club haven't used it in a while but still a great razor to have so you want to pick this one up as well this is the og this is i've been using this one right here and also just one more quick look at the uh, blades that I use for my razor. I love to use the uh, sharps and also the uh, super blade and also the pro guard for the feather clubs. These are my go-to, this is what I'm using. This is what's gonna get me the best shaves I can get. So I hope to see you on my next tutorial. Peace and blessings.